So, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, or Star Wars Clone Wars review in this case, but... And this one is on, what you're looking at is the V-19 torn, and also the Magna Guard Starfires from 2008. So, on the front of these, the, the two manuals for V-19 torn here, you can see Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and that white and blue clone trooper border for the time, and also a picture of the set that there is, and also set number 7674. And on the back of this first manual is ad for both sets that I'm covering, and also the two episode 2 remake sets that they did at the time, of course. And just one few step left, of course. And this one on the back is how to win on the online survey. And then, and then advertisement and application for Lego Club. Add for the winter wave of sets from the time. And also Star War and also a, a Clone War style promotional poster. Then add for the two set for two of the sets that were out at the time with their features. And then all the features of this set in particular. And then the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last few steps. <clears throat> so, first off, for the figs are the mini figs. So, which. For the uh, Magna Guard Starfire is, of course, the two Magna Guards for that, of course. And they which quite neat, are quite cool and impressive for the time, like, uh, let me show just one. As you see this headpiece of which, which has this kind of wrapping around it, and also this thing. And they both of which do have this neat print and sculpt on there. With the red eyes, of course, and also both of which do include these kind of tattered tan capes, so of course, and also if I remove, remove the stud and remove the staff with the purple cone piece, trans purple cones, but yeah. and as you see this, see the arm pieces, same as the Exoforce droids, and whereas, and the leg pieces, same as the uh, Super Battle Droids and K2SO in 2016, of course, but whereas this whole body piece, all exclusive to just these figs, which, which is quite impressive, which is kind of cool for that. And then, of course, you have plenty to put on, too, of course. And whereas the only times they they were ever included in sets were was just this one and also Count Dooku's Solar Sailor that was out the following year, of course. Although it would have been nice if they were included in other sets. Oh, or even make a whole battle pack of these, or even and do the like un or uncovered kind of versions of it, which were kind of cool, which would have been kind of nice. But who knows if they could? But it's possible. But who knows if they could? But yeah. And then on the far right, we would have. The Clone Trooper Pilot, which is the only fig you ever get with the V-19 Torrent, of course. And as and so now, for his uh, helmet printed, which is which just about like all the other Phase 1 Clone Troopers, and of course the Republic symbols on both sides, and also with a yellow stripe on the course. And whereas for the uh, uh, torso printed, which and which same as all the other clone troopers and of course holding a long blaster of course and underneath it and just the tradition is the traditional clone trooper face for as the others do and also on the sides of the helmets are these little tiny little holes that you can fit antennas and various things onto of course and on the back side of which have 
it does have some nice back torso printing as other uh, clone troopers and stormtroopers will have and not much for the magna guard it's of uh, yeah that's but and so now if these two sets were remade nowadays i expect some better set like for the magna guard starfire i think also should have included a commando droid and super battle droid or just a couple of regular battle droids uh, which are good for army building and for the v19 torn i think should have include include like another phase one clone trooper or two or even uh captain rex also prominent in scenes that involve the starfires or this torrent of course but yeah and that is it for these figs of which and so now on to the sections all right starting out with the uh, magna guard starfire which is probably one of many that we never got to see any remakes of or seen any other versions of except for this one. You can see impressive and quite flat build to it, of course. An interesting thing is about how it's uh, lying in positioning, lying down positioning, that if you notice in the show, it's kind of like does hover when it's landed, of course, or floating off when it's landed, of course. Although I think they should have included some clear uh, brick pieces to it, but you can add some of that if you wanted, but yeah. As for like these little end parts of which would at the top front have these traditional large and short cone pieces and also some jagged slopes there and some good snot around there and weird symbol on that jagged slope there. And also this uh, curved slope here and also you get one of the like uh probably horse range kind of pieces but in this gray color but acting as greebling very interesting use of pieces of course and also you get these like little and a few cones with a astromech droid body piece in there but probably to act that acting as uh blasters or something to it and also these long slopes around and is on a hinge and if you pull this part up and lift up and there's some interesting things on there like another odd sticker bit to there and also this like trans red or trans red grills and dark red pieces on there and also so these uh pieces also as staffs for the uh back the guards minifigs of course but yeah uh, kind of odd but whatever and as for the center bit of which does have these two round curved slopes with a large sticker on them and a larger one as well but if you wonder what those things sticking out are for is that if you lower it down and you get two flip fire missiles of course which was common for the time but if this were remade nowadays, I would expect either Springle Launchers or Stud Shooters, of course. So, and as for the cockpit part, of which which is kind of similar, which quite a unique one, which I don't think we've seen in any other sets, or actually never seen in any Star Wars sets, but could have been in some others. Not sure. But if you look closely from the bottom, is have the Bionicle Hordika uh, head pieces and that if you push the ball joint part of it then it would just pushes it forward clever technique of course this and also do you get a single bow droid arm I probably to hold in place that and basically if you can end enough space to fit your magna guard minifig into and place this around to put them in place and enough space to lower them in of course a uh, very nice and cool feature of that is a little different than most Starfire sets and that's but yeah and that's it for the Magna Guard Starfighter and now on to the V19 Torrent another cool one we've never seen any remakes of and also never seen as a microfighter or anything so very interesting how it is 
and if you look at this position now it's kind of uh, curved in and bent over in a way because of that because as one in which says that if you are to that can you like position it perfectly flat and all no it's just kind of like that but but you can just add some of your own technic bits on to there if you wanted but yeah so like this like so, side bit of which as you can see does have some of those like turbine pieces there and this other engine piece from like probably some airplane sets or whatever and also ending off with some uh, cone pieces and also uh, trans blue uh, dish pieces for the engines and that's for this back part of which as the color scheme mostly light and dark red but this bottom part is one exception of sand green but although I think it could have been with lighter green like green but whatever and what this uh, technic rod bits for which we'll see in a moment and also, and also on both wings, you can see the uh, Republic symbol as a sticker, of course, but yeah. And then the top bit of which, as you can see, is how uh, are the mostly Technic bits of which. And why I put these uh, uh, flick fire missiles onto there is because just to, as a place to pull it in, because you don't have it got the actors and don't have any other place to put them which to do so and of course a couple of nice things on top of it with the rods acting as uh turrets on it and of course you have this a little interesting technique build that has this part where you can push to launch sprinkle or i mean the flip fire missiles out but if this were remade nowadays i would expect there to be a sprinkler launchers also with blue missiles just a thought as for this cockpit area which has the usual cockpit piece like we see with most sets and of course and also this front slope with a sticker onto it and basically pull pull it forward and pull it down and and then of course enough space oh also to mention is do get one little uh, printed or I mean sticker tile piece on there or, oh, wait. Oh, wait. and of course enough space to fit your clone trooper mini or clone pilot mini fig into a course but yeah and fits in like some and also if you're noticing I think that while hollow space on there which is kind of lacking although if this were remade of course i think there should be some tiles on there and i think the open space is probably for the mechanisms and also you get those little tetan or i mean those little uh, uh, piston pieces like we often see in technic sets of course and the classic gear pieces of course and the uh, landing gear part of it the interesting use of these pieces Use which we haven't seen since like the uh, bull rocks and bionicle, of course, but acting as the land gear, and as I said earlier, makes it lean forward quite a bit. But if this were to be remade now, I would expect there to be perfectly flat, of course. But yeah, and so now to the main feature is if you pull this uh, back or which and pick it up from here and let it all drop down and then it's in its flight mode which is quite unique and quite cool for that unlike most other sets of which and when like this even more hollow space for that but that's okay and also do get one of those little pieces so it's right there as the front part of it and also a ball turret piece but not used like that as the as another engine bit but yeah well if this were to be remade i expect it to be as much great as that oh whoops
Alright, so now on to the final verdict. Okay, so. Oh, whoops. Anyways. So, overall, these I think are quite cool sets for the time. And also, I'm quite puzzled why these were never remade. Oh, also forgot to mention with the V19 toy, is a yellow Technic beam and pair of uh, pins on there. Just miscellaneous. But of course, it was to help with the build, but although you can just have it aside, but. or connect onto one of the loose holes, but if you want, but whatever. And so, back to the verdict is, still quite cool sets for that. It's an interesting build set we never got to see any remakes of, but if these were remade, or were to be remade nowadays, but I would expect there to be a spring of launchers, and obviously, and also so some more snot around, of course, but yeah. And also, a better selection of me things like an extra battle droid or an extra clone trooper or two. But, but of course, the switch is quite a sign of the times, but yeah. And who knows, maybe we'll see these again in like the Bad Batch or whatever, but yeah. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. Well, if you can, but yeah. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.